What's the crack lads? We are back on the channel with another AC Milan big time Maldini training guide. Now this guy, in my opinion lads, Pirlo, we've already covered Pirlo if you've missed that player training guide and tips on the card. I think Pirlo is one of the hardest players to train up because it depends a lot on your play style, your possession uh, style, uh, how you, you, know, you actually keep the ball, whether it's quick touch passing up the pitch, uh, looking for central areas of attack, or you like to kind of play the ball around and keep your players in position. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. It's a fairly lengthy video, but hopefully it applies to a lot of orchestrators. But for this Maldini card, I genuinely think we have an in-game center back here that can possibly, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe, toe -to -toe with any striker, right? I do have Maldini in my squad, right? I do have Mal Maldini in my squad. I don't have this big time one. I have the legend edition that they released, um, which I'll show you in a couple of seconds on eFootball DB, right? But this guy's got 27 levels, man. And his base defensive stats are unbelievable straight off, off, the, off, the, off the rip, right? Um, he's down as a destroyer, obviously. Every player skill that you could possibly want. He's also got a couple of like dribbling skills and passing skills which really elevate this card up into a different category, lads, in my opinion, right? Now, he doesn't have a couple of stats um, that high, even when you train him up to the max. Uh, if you want to play him as like a right back, we will give you two options. We'll give you a right back option, which is going to be more of like kind of a defensive minded, kind of like a fourth center back. So if you're playing three CBs and then a right or left back, you can actually play Maldini as that position where he's, he's playing left back, but he's, he's really acting as a fourth centre back, right? And this is handy if you are leaking goals and you want to be a little bit more compact at the back. Um, I don't think long term it's worth it, but yeah, you could actually settle, the sh settle down with it if you wanted to have four really strong centre back type players. And we also have the ultimate edition of him, which is a destroyer centre back, right? So <clears throat> looking at the player skills he has there, interception and blocker is all you need. And then the fact that he also has man marking uh, is going to be huge with aerial superiority. And then if you are looking to play him as a right back, kind of like, or a left back, sorry lads, I keep saying right back, but if you're playing him as a left back, you can actually have pinpoint crossing and weighted pass, and you also have a long ball experts. So you don't really need anything with the passing. So the first version of him we're going to look at, lads, is over on eFootballDB, and it is going to be a left back. So this is going to be a very solid left back. As I said, you're going to be playing him in a role where you you possibly have, you know, a cent three center backs at the back, right, in your kind of central area. So you've got no right back and you're using Maldini as a left back, but he's really operating as a as a um a kind of a central left back. Like he's going to be maybe man marking the central player. You're going to be giving away a bit of space and a bit of speed on the wings. But to be honest with you, 90% of goals that come are from balls into the box. You know, you're not going to be conceding a lot of curl shots from cut in wingers, right? So that's what this guy is going to be all about. So when we take a look at him here, if we are going to be training up his defensive stats, we're going to get 90 into all the defensive stats except aggression. Aggression is only important if you auto-defend. If you're a good defender, you don't need it as much. Um, it just kind of controls the AI and how, how effective they are when they win the ball. You can you can kind of overcome it that, that if you are a, a good defender, right? But we've also got 82 acceleration, 70 offensive awareness, 80 speed, 83 stamina, and tight possession is quite good as well. You mix that in with all the player skills that he has, this guy is going to be a defensive beast that can still get up and down the pitch and uh, play a bit of ball, right? I think this is the best version of him. Now, we're not going to do a third version because we're just going to mix and match a little bit here. This is the 90 ra 98 rated version of him that is the Maldini big time. We max out his defensive engagement at 98 with 12 points. Now, we could go a little bit more with this because I genuinely do think um, that the aerial strength is probably overkill at that. We don't need jump at 90 and header at 83 with physical contact. I think 88 and 85 for jump and physical contact is more than enough, right? Because you've got the player skills and we could pop one more in to have 88 aggression, which is going to help the card a little bit. Plus, it also lets us give one more into dexterity. The reason why I want dexterity in uh, that, that high is I do and I would like the balance to be 70. I think that would be a huge one to have for that card, right? Because obviously he's a tall player, he's a strong player, um, he's a kind of a heavy player um, with the weight at 85 kilograms compared to some other lighter centre backs. You will be able to mix it with the, every centre forward that they throw at you, whether it's Mbappe, whether it's Benzema, you have the speed, the acceleration, you have the defensive capabilities. I think that is probably the ultimate version of him. Now, if you are a very good defender and you want to make him even a little bit more dominant right i think you can get away with having 90 awareness tackling and 96 engagement 
and you can pop up four more into dexterity and again it's for that reason it's not for acceleration it's for balance you get the balance as high as you possibly can it just means that when you're on the ball you're a lot more comfortable on the ball especially as a center back that's a very unique position to be having with maldini right similarly if you don't want to have that much into dexterity which you don't really need you can leave that at 70 balance 76 acceleration and then you can instead of just being a kind of a uh you know an ultimate um cb that's going to just get in you know get a lot of ball or whatever you can actually pop this up put two on to jump to make him you know capable in the air if you're used to playing with somebody van dyke and then you can also as well as that you can throw four onto dribbling to bring his tight possession up to nearly 80 so i think there's a lot of advantages with that but i do think that this version of him is probably the best you know i would say that that's probably the best version of him um with the defensive capabilities at 98 with the defensive engagement and then the awareness and tackling at 92 and then you can decide what you want to do yourself whether it's dexterity whether it's lower body whether it, whatever you want to put on him you can put on him i would probably do that with the acceleration to have a player that good defensively with those speed and acceleration stats and the balance it's just it's it's unbelievable man i mean these are end game players especially if you're you know like kind of got a squad that's medium um and you're looking for a massive upgrade you know do i recommend spin you can get away with standard players maldini isn't going to automatically you know get you to division one you still need to be able to use him you still need to be able to stop chances that you concede but i do think that this guy is a monster this is the version of him that i have and as you see there um even with the 15 levels that we're going to pop on him we're just not going to be able to get that level up where we need it to be defensively even if we max out his defense we're not going to get that up as high as we are with the other things and that's not even including his speed and acceleration and his on the ball stuff as well so especially the physical contact which takes a big hit so yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back in a bit don't forget to subscribe peace